Hello, this lesson is from one of our courses over at Print That Thing, where we help people learn 3D print design. If you haven't already, you can get the free startup file to hack Blender for your 3D printer at ptt.live. Let's get to designing. So in this lesson, I'm gonna be teaching you how to move, rotate, and scale your objects. So you just make sure you have your Suzanne layer clicked on right here. And mine is actually out of this collection here. So if, it, if yours is the same way, just click and drag Suzanne inside or on top of that collections folder and you'll notice she pops inside of that collection there. And so the first thing we want to do is, um, you know, I've noticed that she's kind of off centered here. So if you want to recenter her, you can just type in zero for each one of these. Uh, but what I like to do is just click on the X and drag down and then you can just type zero and hit enter and that will do all of it. And so notice now she's right there in the center. And what we want to do is click on our tools over here and click on the one that looks like four little arrows. And that is your move tool. And there's a widget that appears and you can grab any one of these little lines, these colored bars here and move your objects around. So if you're you know familiar with 3D, that's going to be pretty pretty common to you. But if you're brand new, you know that's how you move your objects around inside of 3D space. Remember to always move your view around as you're doing so, so you can kind of tell if you've got your objects where you want them. Uh, notice there's also these little squares in between some of these. Let's see if I can get them all right there. And those will kind of lock it to the up and the X or the Z and the X. So if I click on that, notice it's only moving in that, that kind of almost up like it's up against the wall. Um, and you can see two crosshairs right there. And the same thing for this one down here, that will just slide it around on the floor. And then this one will, you know, slide it just on, uh, you know, on that kind of like, almost like a, you know, a, a wall. So that is how you move. Uh, but what I like to do is just hit G on the keyboard. And so G, just think of grab. So if you hit G, now you can just grab your objects and move them around just like you would in 3D space. So you could hit, you know, rotate, hit G, you know, rotate, hit G. And that's how I do it, you know, because I'm just like, I just want to grab it and move it and grab it and move it just like I would in real life, right? Um, another cool thing you can do is hit G to grab something. And then while you're moving it around, you can hit X on your keyboard and lock it to the X, or you can hit Y and it'll lock to the Y. Or while you're sliding around, you can hit Z, and that will slide it on the Z. And if you actually if you accidentally moved it, you know somewhere you didn't want to, you can always just hit Escape on your keyboard, and that will cancel that uh, that move. And then I'll just go ahead and zero that out, and then pop her back to the middle. And so the next tool I want to show you is the rotate tool. So notice we got this nice little rotate widget. It looks like a beach ball, but you can click and drag any one of these colored lines and rotate Suzanne on that particular axis. Uh, you can also hold control and notice these little white notches appeared. And that way you can kind of like tick, 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 you know, move in like five degree increments. Uh, you can also hold shift and that will do really subtle slow, you know, detailed uh, rotations. Um, but what I like to do is just, you know, make sure you have your object selected. And then I just hit R for rotation. And it's going to rotate it depending on, you know, how you're looking at the, the object. Like right now it's rotating this way because we're looking at Suzanne from this angle. But if I orbited below her and hit R, you know, she's rotating right here. Uh, but a way we can control that is just hit R and maybe you want to lock it to the X axis. So now you can, she can rotate around the X axis or you could hit Y and then she can rotate on the Y or you could hit Z and rotate on the Z. So that is how, you know, kind of two different ways you can rotate your objects. And then the third tool I wanted to show you is the scale. So notice when I hit the scale here, you can just kind of click and drag anywhere and that will scale Suzanne up and down. Or you can grab these little boxes here. So I can grab and scale just on the X axis or I could scale just on the Y or I could scale just on the Z. So that is you know, how you can do that. 
Uh, but the thing, the same thing applies, you know, if you just wanted to use the keyboard. And so how I scale things usually is I'll just hit S on the keyboard. So just hit S on the keyboard and you can just, you know, scale. You just go sh directly into scale mode and then you can hit X on your keyboard to go to X and just scale on the X axis. Or you can hit Y and scale on the Y or you can hit Z. So everybody try that. Just hit S and then hit X and then hit Y and then hit Z. And then that's how you can scale your, uh, your objects there. And now we've got her looking pretty crazy, pretty funky. You know, we've got some, some rotation on her. We've got our scale kind of all wacky. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. So just click on it. And do you remember how to delete? Oh, if you did, good job. If you did, don't remember, all you have to do is click on the object and hit X to delete it. And just, you know, confirm it. So let's go ahead and add another object. Just shift A. We'll just bring Suzanne back. There we go. So now we've got Suzanne. And another tool for moving and rotating in scale is this transform widget. And you can just turn that on with T. But essentially, this is all the different, you know, all three of these tools all in one. So if you like that, you know, you can use that. And that's got everything you need uh, right there in one little widget. So, you know, there's tons of different ways to, to do things in Blender. And you're going to find your way that you like to do it. Me personally, I like the keyboard with G for grab, R for rotate, and S to scale. And a tip for scaling, uh, I notice myself and other people, sometimes you'll hit scale and your like, mouse is really close to the center point. So maybe if I'm like right here and I hit S, like you don't have a, whoa, you're like, what is going on? Craziness. It's just uncontrollable. So if you ever find yourself in that predicament, just hit escape. And then swing wide, you know, put your mouse way over here, like far away from this center point here, hit S, and now you have way more control. So, you know, that's just a tip. I wish somebody would have told me. And then, you know, just hit escape. And you've got, now you understand how to move and rotate and scale your objects. So just go ahead and play with that. Take as long as you want to do with uh, learning how to do that and get yourself pretty comfortable. And once you feel comfortable, we'll go ahead and move into the next section. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to edit the actual geometry. So we know how to move our view. We know how to move our objects. Now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty and moving all these little dots and lines and faces of our Suzanne monkey. So let's go ahead and dive on in. To learn more about 3D print design, visit ptt.live.